Welcome everyone, I'm Kingly Valence, and thanks for watching the Spore Glitch Showcase. Today, we are going through some of my favorite glitches for Cell Stage. In Patch 5 of Spore, Max has added asymmetry to the Creature Creator. This is where, when we hold A on the keyboard, we can edit our creatures asymmetrically. However, this doesn't work right away in Cell Stage. While in the Cell Editor and holding A on the keyboard, the cell parts still mirror each other and can't be moved independently. However, thanks to Getter92, who showed me if we first load up another editor with asymmetry, including from the main menu, then exit out of the creature creator and return to cell stage, this activates the asymmetry editing for cell stage. Now holding A on the keyboard brings up the little asymmetry icon when hovering over a cell part, and we can move the mirrored parts independently. We can even sell just one of our spikes to have a single spike on one side, or be an omnivore with one carnivore and herbivore mouth on each side of the cell. Interestingly, the cell stage asymmetry needs to be activated each time you load up the game, but all we need to do is enter a creature editor and the cell asymmetry will work until we close the game. This next trick can make our cell swim incredibly fast. Here our cell is rocketing around the tide pool. We have 5 jet parts on our cell, which normally only gives us speed in small bursts. However, Savage Brick found if we call a mate just as the jet part gives us the speed boost, this will keep the boost going during the mating call. And if we keep calling a mate by pressing backspace on the keyboard, the boost will continue forever, giving us a continuous jet boost through the tide pool. There is a bit of timing, but we want to call a mate right when the jet part is about to activate. The jet gives a sudden speed boost, then our speed decreases over time. We want to call the mate right at the peak, as we appear to maintain whatever speed we are currently receiving from the jet as we call the mate. We have to be careful not to call a mate between jet boosts, as this can keep us from moving until the mating call ends. Even with just one jet part, we can still maintain a lot of speed. But once we pick up speed, we can steer our cell to avoid obstacles and make sure not to run into our mate as that will bring us into the editor. But this is super fun to mess around with and travel around the tide pool faster than normal. Another exploit in cell stage is when playing with cells without eyes. Normally there is a fog of war effect around the cell preventing us from seeing most of the tide pool. However, if we press escape to bring up the options menu, this removes the fog of war and we can see our entire screen. This can allow us to see other cells or food normally outside our immediate area. This can be especially helpful for challenges like the Pitiful Worm, where we can't see and travel very slowly. Removing the fog right after a respawn to know where to get food without eyes can be a big help in this scenario. The next couple of glitches require cell stage to work, but are mostly used outside of the tide pool. Here in the main menu, we are going to swipe this cell stage game, but when we load up the game, we are suddenly in space stage. Now that's a speedrun. We can show that again. When selecting this cell stage, Spore will actually load up this space stage game instead. Load up the cell stage, and we are back in space stage. This is done by making both home planet names the same. Normally, when starting a new game, we can't pick a home planet name that is already in use. Spore says this name is already taken. However, by using Ctrl Alt Delete on the keyboard, then returning into the game, Spore will freeze for about a second as the game is loading back up. During this freeze time, Spore is actually still accepting inputs and we'll use all the inputs at once when the game is fully reloaded. In this galaxy, for example, we have an herbivore cell stage game with the home planet name Bajor. Starting up a second cell stage game, let's use a carnivore cell, and then we can name this planet Bajor1, which is a valid home planet name to use. Use Control delete then Escape on the keyboard, and during this freeze time, we are going to select the blue starting arrow to begin the game, select the name text box, then press backspace to remove the extra character. And if all is done in time and in the correct order, we will have another cell stage game with the same home planet name as another saved game. And when we save, we can see Bajor as our home planet name. Returning to the main menu, we see both home planets are named Bajor. With matching home planet names, only the most recently saved of these games will actually be loaded. When we select the herbivore cell stage game, which was made first, our carnivore game is loaded instead. This can be done to load up other stages as well. Let's load up a civilization stage game and name the home planet Bajor as well. Use the same control alt delete glitch again. During the freeze, select the blue starting arrow, click the text box, then press backspace to remove the extra character. Starting up Civilization Stage, pass through the loading screen, and save like normal, and once again, Bajor is our home planet. Back in the main menu, loading up either of these cell stages, we'll now load up our most recently saved Bajor home planet, which is the Civilization Stage. What makes going from cell stage to another stage the most interesting is that cell stage does not have any loading screens, including when starting or resuming a saved cell stage, whereas the next four stages all have dedicated loading screens. If we load up our civilization stage game directly, we get the normal loading screen before resuming the game. But if we choose to load from a cell stage into civilization stage, it loads up immediately without a loading screen. 
which tells me these loading screens might actually be fake and not really doing anything. Going from cell stage into other stages appears to work, but may not work the other way around. For example, making another cell stage game named Bajor, then loading from the Civilization stage game, Spore doesn't load the tide pool correctly and appears to be softlocked. Big thanks to Zealot for discovering the overlapping planet names and finding that loading from cell stage into other stages can make them resume without loading screens. Additional thanks to Getter92, who further found that we can also play with an entirely blank home planet name using the same technique as well. Same idea as before, we can't start a game without a name, but with one character in the text box. Use Control alt delete bring back up the game, select the starting arrow, click the text box, and press backspace before the game is fully reloaded. And that will load up the game with a blank home planet name. Setting the lighting quality to high will make Spore take longer to fully reload after using Control alt delete and will give us more freeze time to work with, which may make this glitch a bit easier to perform. This next glitch also requires cell stage to work and allows us to get additional home planet starting locations in the galaxy. Normally when starting Spore with a brand new galaxy, we only get six new game starting locations. And when we begin a new game, save, then return to the main menu, a new sixth starting location appears. However, Savage Brick found we can get additional new game starting locations through an interesting saving glitch in cell stage. When saving, Spore is still accepting inputs for about a second, then the game is locked down to complete the save. But any inputs made during this first second after the save begins, but before the game freezes to finalize the save, will still be accepted before the save finishes. Back in the main menu, starting up a brand new cell stage game, and once in the tide pool, we can bring up the options menu, we can click save, and immediately click quit back to the main menu. Spore says our game was saved, however the planet we were playing on is still available. There are still only six new starting locations, but if we refresh the galaxy by going in and out of a new cell stage and returning to the galaxy screen, there are now seven new game locations. Spore must be thinking we did save, which is why a new location is given. But because of quitting before the save was completed, all seven locations are still available. After about 200 saved games or so, Spore will run out of room to give new locations, and we can see there is only one new game location left. If we load into cell stage and save at this location and return to the main menu, there are no more open starting locations. And interestingly, if we delete this cell stage game, a new game is immediately placed back in as the last available location again. However, using the save and quit trick in cell stage, this also somehow bypasses the maximum home planet limit and gives us a second open home planet. And we can keep adding new games even though Spore originally thought it was full. Finally, this last glitch brings us back into the tide pool and is partly a cell and creature stage glitch. Knowing that saving takes a full second after starting to finalize allows us to save in locations where it's not normally possible. For example, when finishing cell stage and clicking on the history button to advance into creature stage, we can't save when viewing the timeline. Both in the options menu and through Ctrl and S on the keyboard, saving isn't available during this time. Past the timeline, we get a quick cutscene of the cell where we still can't save. Then we reach the early creature editor and we can't save here either. The next time we can save isn't until we reach the land after the creature stage loading screen and intro cutscene. However, Getter92 found if we begin the save at the end of cell stage, quickly enter and pass through the timeline and skip the cutscene, so the save actually takes place in the early creature editor, this causes some interesting results. We still can't quit from the editor, but if we pass through the editor and load into creature stage, quit without saving and return to the main menu, our game says we are already in creature stage, even though we only saved in the early creature editor before the creature stage loading screen. If we resume the game, we are in creature stage, except there are no other creatures present on the entire planet. Only our species and the other migration nests are present. This is a complete soft lock of the game, as there is no way to receive DNA points. But this is an extremely interesting glitch by saving in a location we aren't supposed to. We can still collimate and change our creature to walk and fly around, but there is no one else here. We have the entire planet to ourselves. No need to wage war in civilization stage, we've already conquered the planet. And that's everything I wanted to show for some of my favorite glitches and exploits for cell stage. Let me know your favorite glitches for Cell Stage, and check out some other glitch showcases here. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Kingly Valence, and I'll see you next time.